Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the uh, commodities market and precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast uh, for uh, Friday, uh, April 16, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Etoro where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have found the uh, support down here at the 50 moving week average, and we're trading at the 91.67. Technical indicators are starting to turn around. So the markets are significantly overstretched. If you look at indices, stocks, uh, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, whatsoever, everything is basically uh, fairly overstretched at this point, and it's basically ready for pullbacks, while the US dollar index is basically ready to basically rally so if we uh, find additional support here in tomorrow's session and that could be a strong indication that this was basically the bottom and then we are ready to rally back towards the upside you'll mostly find some resistance here at the 92 and also 92.3 uh, and if that breaks then we could head back towards the top of the bullish band which is at 93.39 Technical indicators are turning around. They are still bearish, uh, but uh, we have had a massive fall the last uh, two and a half weeks. So let's look at oil. So oil has rallied the last three trading days, and uh, this rally is kind of in jeopardy now that uh, Iran may be allowed to, buy, to start selling oil again. That will add additional... A supply to the world, uh, so raw supply, and we could basically see this starting tumbling back towards the downside as supply increases. So, technical indicators are still favoring the upside. So, we are trading at 63.4, and we have basically broken out of this square that we have been in for the last three weeks. Uh, so, at this current stage, we have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average, and that is a bullish shine, and all of these technical indicators are also bullish. And we are getting top of the bullish band, so I'll pull back towards uh, at the 61.19 level. Uh, the price level could be expected before going continuing higher. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas is running into resistance here at the 50 moving average, and uh, that could it should be expected. We're in the time of the year where well, we should not see a major rally in natural gas, uh, but we also have basically been breaking down for a really long time, creating this a double bottom here or a triple bottom, you could basically say. Uh, so we can look at this area as an area of significant uh, support, and we are basically been rallying from that area. But a break above the 50 that would be fairly surprising at this point. We're also top of the Bullinger band at the 50 moving average, and technical indicators are showing signs of basically leveling off. But if we break above the 50 moving average, then we could head towards the 2.75 and probably all the way up to 3. So there's nothing in the way here of uh, this going to 3, even though it should be fairly uh, strange at this time of year. Breakdown from here will most likely find support at the the 2.6 and break below that to head back towards these previous lows. So let's look at copper. So copper has broken out of its uh, uh, triangle. We had a triangle here, which uh, we basically broke out of yesterday. And today we've been basically went significantly uh, to the upside. So yes. So we traded into this triangle, broke out, and now we're we went way outside of the bullish band, and uh, a pullback at this point should be expected. Um, so we could hunt back towards the 20 exponential at uh, 4.077, and a rally from there that will basically confirm that we are ready to go back to these all-time highs here. Technical indicators are very bullish. We are also very high in the RSI, but um, a breakout has been basically confirmed out of this triangle to the upside and not the downside. So this uh, trend here is uh, still holding. We're still in the uptrend. And uh, yes, this will most likely have a pullback and then continuing higher. So let's look at gold.
So gold has broken above the 50 moving average and is trading now above the 50 moving average. It looks like we're going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average. And that's quite significant because the last time we had this crossing is basically led to this major uh, downfall in this market. So that could be an indication that we are ready to rally up towards 1800 and probably to the 200 moving average at 854. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. And uh, at this point, yes, uh, pullbacks towards the 50, that could be uh, uh, could offer support at this point. And uh, yes, a fairly uh, surprising move for gold. But uh, we are basically, it uh, looks like uh, reversing uh, this uh, downward trend at this current stage. But uh, we still need more data to basically confirm that we are going to trend upwards uh, and not break below these previous lows here. So let's look at silver. So silver has rallied up towards the 50 moving average and uh, we are finding uh, quite a lot of uh, resistance around this area. So uh, technical indicators are very bullish at this point. A pullback towards the 20 exponential could offer major support and the break about the 50 could open the door to 25. So we have been trending towards the upside since we found bottom here at 23.77. And uh, yes, there has basically been no major hurdles uh, in the way until now when we're hitting towards the 50. So break about above the 50 could open the door to 27, uh, $27 and beyond that. So let's look at platinum. So platinum is finding a problem uh, resistant here at the 50 moving average. We're trading at 1196. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside at this current stage. So a break above the 50 could open the door to the previous highs here at 1240. Rejections of the 50 could open could make this fall back towards 1153. So let's look at pallium. So pallium is uh, basically broke these uh, previous highs and now is trading at uh, 27.39. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside. We are on the edge of being overbought. A pullback from here could be expected. And uh, yes, we've basically broken out of uh, this uh, this um, triangle, which we were we were basically going into this corner. So we were basically trending into this corner and now we basically have broken out. And at this current stage, a pullback towards these, uh, this resistance area will most likely act as uh, support and this will just continue up towards the uh, next target will probably be uh, 3000. So that's probably where this is going. And uh, yes, it has been a, basically a massive rally towards the upside, but we're getting fairly overstretched, so a pullback should be expected before continuing higher. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium is, uh, well, getting way ahead of itself. So we're trading at uh, 2.3 uh, to 1, significantly outside of the bullish band, so pullback towards the middle. Should be expected at this current stage. We'll probably see something similar to this. So down here at uh, 2241, that's most likely going to be our target before this continue rallying, rallying to the upside. Technical indicators are still very bullish, but this uh, just cannot. Um, this uh, just uh, is not um, possible to start rallying at this point as we are significantly outside of the bullish. But we can see it here, here, also here, and also here. What basically happens when that occurs so let's look at nickel so nickel uh, tried to rally but nothing really has happened here so uh, 20 200 moving average offers uh, support 20 exponential offers resistance and we're basically stuck in the middle here we need basically a clear signal uh, for a break to the downside or the upside before starting uh, buying into this market so let's look at sugar so sugar has rallied to above the 50 moving average. We are getting significantly overstretched here. Uh, we are way outside of the bullish band and we are approaching overbought territory. Technical indicators are very bullish. So this has been a massive run for sugar. We found major support down here at 0 0.1466. And at the moment, it looks like we are heading back towards these all-time highs. 
nothing has been in, based in the way. We're most likely going to have a crossing of the 50, 50 and the 20 exponential in the next uh, three, uh, two to four trading days. And that will be a confirmation that we are about to uh, trend higher. So let's look at Cotton. So Cotton also is a uh, rally today, found resistant at the 50 moving average at 0 0.8468. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside, and uh, there's a lot of room to the upside. We are going to find some resistance here at uh, 0 0.8603 at the uh, at the top of the bullish band, but we're only at 56 in the RSI, so there's a lot of room to the upside. Break below here, we'll most likely find support at the 20 at 0 0.82. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa has found resistance at the 50 moving average and basically got rejected there. So this is an inverted hammer and usually this means that we'll have a red candlestick here tomorrow and we'll probably drop back towards the very lows. If we manage to break above the 50, then we will basically, uh, we can go higher back towards uh, 2.656, but uh, this is not an encouraging candlestick. Technical indicators do favor the upside, but we need to basically to see basically where this opens tomorrow in order to confirm where this basically is going. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has completely turned around. So we found bottom here close to the 200 moving average at 593. And now we're trading well above the 50 moving average. We're significantly overstretched. So a pullback towards the 50 will find support at 640. Technical indicators are all turning around and favoring the upside, but we are significantly overstretched in a bullish band. So we could see this pullback um, towards the 50 and that that will basically be our bottom of the market at this current stage. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow us here over at eTro. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.